Welcome back everyone. First of all, I want to apologise for no video on Friday. As you can probably see behind me, we've got no green screen up. This is my living room. Um, as you may have noticed, I mentioned in the last episode on Thursday that we were doing a charity stream over on twitch.tv forward slash slow kiss tuna 45 if you want to pop over there and see me. Um, it was 24 hours plus and we ended up going for a total of 74 hours. Yeah, 74 hours. Um, so we, that means we was live when the videos were due out um, and when I would have been recording. So we actually played some of the safe over on Twitch um, as well. So we've gone a bit longer than we expected then. At some point, you know, um, the green screen probably will go back up. But for now, we're just going to rock with the, the neutral background. Welcome back to Tune the Travels. We are finally back. Yes, as mentioned in the intro, we've um, played a bit longer than expected. Initially, we are coming back for the AE last two games before the split. Instead, we'd just come back for the final two games of the season. Last time we were here, we played Cliftonville and obviously lost 1-0 in extra time there after Seth Sealers getting sent off. We then lost 3-1 against Dungannon, Swift, uh, Sanxi Hintz going on a goal for us. To make it 1-1, uh, Gallagher, Malone and McGrath there were giving them the victory. Then lost 2-0 to Carrick, McConville scoring both goals in the last 15 minutes of the game. 4-2 against Linfield um, in this game. Hugh O'Neill putting them 1-0 ahead. Daniel O'Leary's penalty in the 13th minute, uh, giving Tinnell lead on half-time. We then tweaked the tactics half-time, made a lot of changes. Colin Moore pulled one back. Harbinson made it 3-1. So Sealers immediately pulled a goal back again. And it looked like we were going to be into this game, but an 86th minute goal from O'Neill gave them a 4-2 victory. This was the first one, I think, over on stream. Um... And I so we did Duncan and, and Carrick over on stream because we lost both of them against the bottom two of the league. But we did get a victory over Balamina, Stroud, Penalty and more scoring there. And McIlwain um, sent off after 20 minutes. 2 1 defeat against Cliftonville. Brett Stroud scoring the only goal for his much traffic and Gavajad scoring the goals for them. We then had a board meeting after this game where um, we had to basically try and save our job. We've had a total of four board meetings in this time to save our job and we're still here. So. Yeah. Then you can see things sort of turned around. Uh, we beat Lawn 3 2, set so Sealer Stroud and McGuinness penalty. Uh, sorry, Stroud with a penalty, McGuinness scoring the goal. It was a 3 2 victory, Fitzpatrick and O'Hare scoring for them. This is a wonderful performance on stream as well. We we had a great, great show in there. 2 2 against Glenn Torren, set so Sealer scoring both goals for us. McKernan in an 88th minute equalizer from Tuffy. And a 2 0 defeat against Coleraine, Scott and Lyndon Kane penalty scoring, uh, winning it for them. Then I'm watching a couple of friendlies because we had a long, long time between games. So we want to keep that match finished, try and get some confidence into the uh, the team. Didn't show against Glen Avon. John McGovern scoring for us, but Marlon and Farmer scoring two for them gave them a 3-1 victory. But then you can see something's changed. Um, so the that one was the last one that we did on stream. These ones I've just played before. Uh, hitting that record button today. We beat Ards 4 0, McGovern, Stroud penalty more, and Tuffy scoring. We beat Carrick 5 0, a hatchet from Stroud, McGovern, and set Sealess in this one. Stroud missed the penalty but scored from the rebound. That was the goal for the hat trick. And then another Stroud penalty and a Bagley goal gave us a 2 0 victory over Balamina. And um, we can see we are in the relegation group here. We're in eighth place now. We could still finish 7th, but it's it's not very likely. We're just playing for 8th place this season, which I do believe I know it's 7th place. So if we can't get in 7th, there is a chance of Europe next season. But the thing that's changed is we've gone back to this tactic, to the uh, Tunis Travels one. and We've been playing a mixture of a 4-4-2 and a 4-1-4-1 um, to varying degrees. But these past three games, we've gone back to this and we, we've looked... Pretty good. Now there may have also been some names in there that you did not recognise. That's because we've made a bunch of signings in January as well. Um, obviously we saw Cecilius and Custodulu come in. But we also signed Sidi Coley um, on a free transfer. We want to load his 
profile up here. Defensive midfielder. Fine, we'll just do it this way. Defensive midfielder can play centre mid, can play out right. He was a pretty decent player. He was formerly at Plymouth and Senegalese, of course, we know him from the international sphere. But he's come in six appearances so far, four from the bench. But Stroud obviously scoring plenty of penalties. He can play left back, he can play centre back. Um, nine starts, one sub appearance, eight goals and one assist. A lot of them being penalties, but you know, we've got him winning balls as well in the air, scoring a few from headers as well. So he's been an inspired signing so far. Nathan Shepard, also a free transfer, also formerly of Plymouth, um, can play on either side of midfield, left or right. Five sub appearances so far for him, one assist. We brought him in when we were playing at 4 4 2. We are going to have to train him to play a bit further forward again now. Um, so he, for him to actually get game time. But he's a one to work on. Jai Heard, similar, can play on that left side, but he can play left winger as well. Just a one sub appearance for him so far. Then next up, we have Ken Edwards. Joining us on a free transfer from Basswood, goalkeeper. I didn't think I needed a goalkeeper, but he was just quality. Um, and quality is what we needed. We just needed, you know, as many good players as possible throughout the entire team as we could. So Ken Edwards joined us on a free transfer, the Antiguan and Barbudan uh, goalkeeper. And then the final one was £50,000, potentially an extra £1,000 added on from FC Halifax. Luke Walston can play centre midfield, defence midfielder, or centre back. Should be needing to. Um, one start four sub appearances for him so far. He he's a really good player, uh, but he just hasn't quite had that moment yet for us. Um, a couple of other players have played a bit better, but he's going to be starting today. And this is the team that we're going with today for this game against Glenavon. Edwards in goal, Evans, Akocha, Christodoulou, and Stroud in the back four. Smith and Walston in midfield. Moore, Kearney, Tuffy, and Seth Sealers. So hopefully we can continue this little run of form we're on, um, save our job, most importantly going into the new year, uh, into the new season, and um, take some momentum into the next season as well. And speaking of new year, I do hope everyone had a wonderful new year. Um, and 2022 is going to be everything you want. We have put some goals over on our Twitter as well for this coming year. We're hoping to get to 250 subscribers on this channel um, for the new year. So it's to get some behind and Houston brings him down and it's going to be a red card, surely. So Silas was through and seven minutes in, they are down to 10 men. Evans finds more. Kearney comes back to Okocha. So yeah, if we can hit that 250 by the end of 2022, that is the goal, and thank you all for the support in 2021. Let's keep it going, shall we? Set Sealers into Tuffy. And that's going to be a penalty. Irvine brings him down. Stroud from left back. Bags another goal. Four Crusaders, his ninth of the season for us. What a signing he's been. Uh, a lot of them have come from the penalty spot, but that's what you need. Players to score from the penalty spot. Just one further note as well, obviously, Wednesday and Friday saw the second and final part of the Battle of the Bosses, Real Madrid, save the final part on Friday, being the one where we take a look at the scoring system, see who wins, and um, see who clinches uh, part one, find out what the next team will be as well. So let's see us in behind here, great touch and great finish, we're 2 and up after 18 minutes, 19 minutes, against 10 men. This one could be a route. It could be a route, and this is perfect. It's a good ball, good touch, get away from the defender covering. It gives himself a bit of an angle and slots it past the keeper for two. I'd also like quite like some feedback on the Battle of the Bosses as well. If you have watched um, each of the episodes, please do let me know what you think. Um, if there's any improvements to be seen in there. Yeah, things you like, do do let me know. Kenny's ball towards the back post is cleared off the line. More. Plays it to Stroud, who's got a bit of space. That's the end of that highlight, fair enough. Normally at 2 0, you know, you think we, we're not quite safe, but I think against 10 men, we'll see what happens with this highlight before I say anything else. 
of getting the ball back. Uh, we can look at taking a couple of players off at half time and potentially resting them for that final game of the season for us. Walston to Kustadulu, Okocha, Smith to Moore. We had a lot of issues with Smith as well. That ball into set Sealess is in the back of the net, and the flag has stayed down. I thought for a second he was offside. That was a beautiful ball in, and set Sealess has his seventh goal of the season. After getting sent off on his debut, I was a little bit worried, but he's really kicked on for us. Cross from Moore was perfect. And set Sealess gets there to volley home. And make it 3-0. Was he offside here? Nah, he was on. Just. <laughs> yeah, over on Twitch, we're going to have a mixture of some more football manager, a bit of Forza. We've got Warzone on there as well. And of course, some watch-alongs for the football, some just chatting. Um, plenty of things over there. But yeah, as I mentioned, just please do give me feedback on all the series, everything. Do we make all three changes at half time? No, because we can't bring on a left back. We don't have anyone. Let's see if we can McGuinness on there. Eh. We'll make all three changes at half time. What's the worst that can happen? Can't wait for it to be 10 10 um, in terms of players in a few minutes when we pick up an injury. So, this would move us to a point behind Glen Evan, but they do have a game in hand as well. So, of course, if they win that, we cannot catch them. Tuffy can't quite win the ball there. Woods wins it well. Burns. Colour to Patterson. Can we get a foot in here? And we do actually have that high pressing style on again now, but clearly doesn't quite work with this tactic. McGuinness. Just a do who's now playing left back. Tuffy to Kearney. Can we go and get a fourth? It's ball over the top. Can see this guy's hat trick? He's in, he's gone around the keeper and he's five wide. Wow. What a chance that was. But he has missed the back of the net. Let's praise them once more. Keep that morale high. Uh, they're giving handers against odds who are safe now as well, definitely. So nothing really for them to play for. Shepherd. Ball in. Tuffy back post. It's not a great finish. And the keeper just about keeps it out. Don't get a 6-2 up against Carrick. Just to do lose throwing. Keeper doesn't quite get there, but the ball is smashed clear. Can set Sealers get his hat trick. Just to Dulu. To Kearney. To Walston. Coley, so Sealus hits one, and it's just over the bar. I thought then, you know, he was going to be firing one in. And it, he's not going to get his hat trick, but we are going to run out 3 0 victors in a relatively comfortable game. That run of games that we've won continues us now four in a row, and four games in a row with a clean sheet as well. I mentioned on stream that we don't win games when we concede generally um, two all season, I think. We beat Lan 3-2. Okay, that is the only game so far this season we've won when we conceded. So, yeah, obviously it shows that we can keep a solid defence then. We are, we are very, very likely to win, but we do beat 10-man Glenhaven. Um, Carrick have been relegated at the hands of Dungan and Swift. 7-2 battering there to save themselves. And yeah, we're going to come back for that final game against Dungan and themselves in one momento. And our final game of the season is here at home to Dungan and Swift. We've got Edwards and goal, Evans, Okocha, Stroud and McAllister are the back four. Smith and Bagley in midfield. Moore, Kearney, Tuffy and Cecilus are the attacking quartet. Yeah, quartet is four. I've, for a second there, I was going to say quintet. It's four of them. Um, so let's see if we continue this run of four that we're in. This is our longest win streak of the season. Um... So hopefully we can carry that on. Again, defence is going to be so crucial. Keeping them clean sheets are so important. But these are good off the back of that 7-2 victory over Carrick. 
Evans throwing to Kearney. Can we get an early highlight here? So we're going to have to do some defending. Evans wins the ball back well, though. Smith to Bagley. Tough heat in space. Gets past his man easily. Finds a cross to Moore by post. And it's a great header from Colin Moore. His eighth goal of the season from Tuffy's cross. And we have the lead. One minute, 45 seconds into this game. I really have an echo over these past couple of days. So again, if my energy hasn't quite been as high, blame the stream. We are less than 12 hours after it finishing. Um, so yeah, we're still recovering a little bit, but I really wanted to get some videos done for you. Of course, I start my new job this week. So um, yeah, busy time for me this weekend. And we've got another penalty, apparently. Um, apparently there's a push on more there. All of these pushes never really look like pushes or penalties in the match engine. So you can never be too sure Stroud scores yet another penalty to take him into double figures for the season. Not bad, considering we've only had him for half a season. And he's a defender. Incredible penalty, this one. There are absolutely no keeper in the world saving that one. Right in that top corner, and we just highlights after highlights after highlights in this game. Bagley wins that poor throw in. Tuffy to Bagley. Stroud. Okocha to Kearney. Switches the ball beautifully to Moore. Chips it back to Evans. Kearney. Bagley hits one. And just wide of the post. Decent effort though from him. You can see Glenavon lost to Ards last time out. And they are currently 0-0 no -no with Balamina. So we jump above them at the moment. Um, and now Balamina actually winning. So Balamina jump above them as well. McLewain penalty. So we are in 7th position right now. And of course that means we would face the guys 4th, 5th and 6th in a playoff to potentially get European football. Um, it's only bruised near. He can play on with that. They've had a couple of players go off injured as well in this first half. We had all them highlights in the first 10 minutes. Nothing really since, but we're fine with that. We are perfectly fine with that. Bingham comes on for Corconnan for them. We've got a highlight straight from kickoff as well. McCorry. Bedovert. Can he pull one back? Edwards saves and Evans clears out for a throw in. Was that another injury for it wasn't another injury for them, but they have made all three changes and um a bit banged up. A lot of the teams that you can see a couple of injuries coming in as well from elsewhere, red cards as well. And more is gonna come off. He's got a bruised thigh apparently, so we're gonna take him off for I'm actually gonna put Set Seagus on the wing. We're gonna bring Sang Si Hin on. A player that's played pretty well so far this season, but just with how set Sealus has been playing, he hasn't particularly had them chances. Bagley delivers towards the back post, and Kearney's header over the bar. We're going to take... I think Kearney's going to be the next sub off, actually. Him and Bagley. Because, you know, at the moment, we have them playoffs to think about. Still... 1-0 to Balamina there, so unless Glen Avon get two late goals, let's see this ball in, Stroud gets his header on it, it's another goal for him, it's 11 of the season, you see what I mean about him being pretty decent with his head as well, whipped in from Cecilia, Stroud gets up above his man and fires the header home, it's 3-0, we've won five in a row, now it's just can we keep them clean sheets going, We've got three additional minutes. We've dominated this game. Absolutely dominated this game. And that is full time here. And I'm just waiting to see the score from the Balamina game. But I'm 99% sure they won 1-0. Uh, they did indeed. So we will have a European playoff to come. Um, Somehow, don't know how that's happened, but we've we've managed to do it. So let me just have a quick proceed, see if we get that drawn. Dungannon now have to go into a relegation playoff as well. Um against I think second in the championship. I just want to know who we're playing. I just want to know who we're playing. Please tell me. He 
kissing up at the top as well. We've got African Cup of Nations qualifiers coming up for Senegal soon. Okay, it doesn't appear to to want to tell me, but that is going to be our next game. It's actually in just three days' time, so we don't know who we're playing yet. Um, but that's going to be tomorrow's episode. If you enjoyed this and this runner form that we're on, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me out massively. Subscribe if you're new here and enjoy what you see. Remember, we're aiming for 250 by the end of this year. So we've got a full year to hit that. But if you know someone that might like this content, please do pass it on to them. Um, let them come and check it out for themselves and, and see what they think. Um, and remember, like I said earlier on, any feedback on this series, on the Battle of the Bosses series, anything like that, please do let, it, let me know as long as, you know, constructive criticism we don't just want you to say oh you crap and then just leave it at that i mean this one of form shows that i know that we don't need to know that um but yeah thank you very much everyone for your support on this series so far and a very very happy new year may 2022 bring everything that you need and one thank you and bye bye